Now, if you look in your booklets, for those who don't have the booklets, don't worry. I have the questions here with me. You can just take it down from the screens. But this is still lesson one because I couldn't finish it last time because our time wasn't enough. But here we go. This is lesson one, question number four. And I have it here and I hope that everybody can see it. I'm quite excited to do this question now because we just went through which quadrant. So I have, if everybody can write this down, it is the sin of 90 plus theta. Or can we use x? It's the same thing. The cos of negative x minus the tan of 180. 80 degrees minus x and I have, I'm just going to shift this a little bit, I have the cos of 180 plus x and last but not the least, I'm going to try and fit this in here everybody, I can see this whole sum here, the sin of negative x, negative 720. Let's start with our sum. I'm quite confident that you would be able to do this now. If you see a sum like this, first question, which quadrant are you working in? First question, which quadrant? Write this down. I want you to take down this notes this afternoon. Which quadrant are you working in? So look with me. 90 plus x. Remember, you now have your x, your negative theta. This is the diagram that you have in front of you. This is what you have. I can, I can see, you can see it as well, so work with me. Plus x is here. Plus x is the same as, my, as theta. How many blocks? I've got a plus 90. One block, anti-clockwise. Takes me to the second quadrant. This is all I want you to do first. Just tell me which quadrant. This is the second quadrant. I hope you all got that. Where is negative theta? Where's that negative x, everybody? It's in the fourth quadrant. I don't, move to, I don't need to move 90. I don't need to move anti-clockwise or clockwise. It's just negative x. So this is in the fourth quadrant. And then I have, where is 180 minus x? Work with me quickly. Minus x is here. I have to move plus 180. So I go anti-clockwise. How many blocks? Two blocks. One, two blocks. I'm in the second quadrant. Put your two on top. 180 plus x. Work with me quickly again. Here's my plus x. Plus 180. Anti-clockwise. One, two. I am working in the third quadrant. And now we come to something that people don't know. So if you work with the method that I've taught you this afternoon, you can't go wrong. Where is negative x, negative 720? Don't fear, just look carefully. Negative x, put your finger in the fourth quadrant. So you're starting there. Now you have to go negative 720. So that's a lot of moves, right? So it's 90. Remember, I am going in a, it's a negative angle. I'm going in a clockwise direction, clockwise, negative 90, negative 180, negative 270, negative 360. But I must go another way around because it's 720. It brings me to the fourth quadrant. I hope that you got this. There's somebody that told me it's Tyron of Sarepta Secondary. You said it's in the fourth quadrant. Amazing. Before I said it's in the fourth quadrant, you knew it already, and that's good. So we're in the fourth quadrant. That's which quadrant are we working in? And now we're going to start. After you have your quadrants, which quadrant? You ask, is my function positive or negative? Most important question, positive or negative? Right. 90 plus x is in the second quadrant. How is sin in the second quadrant? That's quite easy. All stations to Cape Town. Everybody knows that. We did this in grade, we did this in grade 11 and in grade 10. Sin is positive in the second quadrant. Very important. Very important. What happens to the sin? It changes to cause. It can't remain sin. 
because it's 90 plus. We just did it as the introductory to the introduction to the lesson. We said, please, the minute you see 90 plus or 90 minus, sin goes to cause. So I'm going to write there, this is the cause of X. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to immediately put this in a bracket. Immediately. We go to the next one. Negative X is in the fourth quadrant. We wrote it already. Next question. How is cos in the fourth quadrant? It is positive. Does my name change? No. Why doesn't my name change? I don't have a 90. So I'm just going to write this is the cos of x. So far, you scored yourself two marks. Now look, very important. There is a negative sign separating that from that side. So I suggest and I firmly believe that you put that negative down first because you guys forget about the negative and you want to put it in a bracket. Put that negative down and then you open up your bracket and now you ask the same questions. 180 minus x is in the second quadrant. How we stand in the second quadrant? Tan is negative. So this will give me negative. Does my name change grade 12s? Of course not. There is no 90. So this is negative tan x. Oh goodness, there is no sign there. So I open up my bracket immediately. I didn't do it there because there was a negative. Okay. 180 plus x is in the third quadrant. How is cos in the third quadrant? Grade 12, so how is cos in the third quadrant? Cos is negative. Does my name change? No. So this is just negative cos x. And last but not the least, look at this. You told me, Tyron from Sarepta, you said, ma'am, this is in the fourth quadrant. Negative x, negative 720 is in the fourth quadrant. How is sin in the fourth quadrant? It is negative. Does my name change? No. And I've just got the sin of x. If I mark this at the end of the year, you have scored one, two, three, four, five marks. What to do now? Look at all this. What I'm going to do is, after this, I'm going to say the cos of x times the cos of x is cos squared x. I'm sure you know that. Then you can say this negative times that negative give you a positive. And now, you know as well as I do, the minute you see tan, you change it to sin x over cos x. It is an identity. Tan x is sin x over cos x. That negative times that negative also gives you a positive. So the negative fall away. And you times this by the cos of x here. You can put that over 1 if it makes you feel better. Remember that negative is gone because you said the negative times the negative is a positive. And you have sin x over 1. I've got my cos squared. Can I cancel that cos with that cos? Of course, there's a multiplication in the middle. They cancel. What have I got left? Cos squared x plus sin x times sin x is sin squared x. And we know this is cos squared plus sin squared is equal to 1. Learners, I hope that you understood this question. I hope that this is quite clear what I've done here because we're going into our second example. And the second example I'm actually going to give to you to do. Let me first write the example down. Please remember this. Which quadrant are you working in? You move from theta to minus theta. Positive angles is anti-clockwise. Negative angles are clockwise. After you've located your quadrant, is my ratio positive or negative? Where do I get that information from? All stations to Cape Town. And after that, just remember, put it in your heads, 90 minus and 90 plus. Your sin goes to cos or cos goes to sin. After that, tan is sin over cos. Please, everybody, now we're going to go into our second example.